On today's episode of Generation, we featured Timutlung Mukhwire, an enthusiastic young man who is keen on keeping up with technology and using modern, smart solutions in his life. Did we tell you that he's also a man of learning and received a Chinese government scholarship for his doctoral studies? But his life was not always this put together. Watch the full program and get to know Dima, his lifestyle, journey to success, and the Mongolian tech solutions and services that he chooses. It's an early spring morning in Ulaanbaatar, and here's Dima, ready to start work. Hello everyone, uh, my name is Timutle, but I usually go by Dima, and uh, today I'm very excited to be appearing on a movie world special program, uh, Generation. Right now I'm at work, uh, I work at Mongol Chat, and the time is 6.40 a.m. And why are we this early today is that we are uh, organizing a very small event with our uh, co companies that we work with. So come on in. So here I am, um, I am at work. Um, as you can see, we have um, prepared for event and uh, we are going to sign uh, on a contract with uh, certain companies such as UbiCab, Tomio, and also Shopee. And then, like so many companies, are uh, the directors, and CEOs are coming to our company to sign the contract. So I will be hosting uh, the event, and you guys will know more about the event uh, very soon. Did you know? Mongol Chat is a Mongolian social and payment app with the two main features being a chat tool and digital wallet. Developed by Mongolian engineers, the app allows users to chat with greater security. No one else can see your conversations. Conversations are not stored on the Mongol chat server or anywhere else. The wallet allows users to link all their bank accounts and make transactions directly from the app without having to keep money in their online wallet. Users can also send each other stickers that are made specifically for Mongolian users to express themselves. So back to the morning event. During the event, MOUs were signed between Mongol Chat and a number of tech companies, including UbiCab, Shopee, Zochil, Tomyo, Ori, and others. At the end, there was a business breakfast and a networking session. What a productive morning! So we have just finished our event and so now I'm free. So I'm going to introduce you guys our office. This is our coffee corner, like we, we would call it a kitchen area. And uh, this is the cups we have. So this is um, a board uh, that we Pin uh, important information here. And this is our uh, team members here. And also uh, the birthdays, we just take a note here as well. Your name is Timutling, but please tell us why you're also called Dima. So, why am I called Dima is because, well, I was born in Mongolia. And then when I was five, my family moved to Russia, St. Petersburg. And, and back then, uh, Russian people couldn't call my name, so that's why uh, my mom decided to give me and my sister a Russian name. And since then, I don't know, just I go by Dima. Is that okay? She's our artist, and Mongolia has um, a stickers. Uh, so she's the one who 
uh, draws everything. So this is basically where the uh, sticker magic happens. Dima earned his bachelor's degree from Central University of Finance and Economics in Beijing, majoring in international trade and economics. After graduating, in order to contribute to the development of his country, he worked at big Mongolian manufacturing companies such as Tessa and Apple. Now, for over a year and a half, he's been working at the Mongolian IT company MongolChat. Why I uh, decided to work at MongolChat is because, uh, as we all know, that IT industry is getting um, really popular, not only in Mongolia, also in around the world, and. That's why I have, um, you know, decided to, you know, invest my time, invest my knowledge and experience in Mongolian national IT product. So now um, I'm going to see my IT management team. We have a meeting there. And before that, uh, we will uh, pass by my favorite coffee shop and let's go. Here we are at Heurchimgest, or 2D coffee shop. So here I am uh, at Tuhimgest coffee shop. Um, so what I like about this place is that I, I have like Ulaanbaatar passport. Did you know Ulaanbaatar Passport is a platform for anyone in Ulaanbaatar, both residents and travelers. Ulaanbaatar Passport helps its users find the nicest places in Ulaanbaatar and get discounts and free rewards. So Dima, you look like a professional host. Do you do this often? How did you become this good at public speaking? Well, thank you very much. Uh, but I don't really usually host any event. And it was actually like the very first time that I was hosting. And, but thank you for the compliment. Um, as of the public speaking, I, I do um, public speaking. I give some speeches uh, to younger people. And I did like a lot of uh, corporational like training at my companies. I just thought if you're a Mongol, you meet like Mashmo, and so you're a little bit too. They get the whole. Би амьдралтай хамгийн зөв сонголтой хийсэн болов санамсаргүй гэр хинийч зүйлгүй гэр Тэгээд би яг энэ менежер карьер институт гэдэг энэ сургалтанд би хүний нөөцийн менежментээр сураад Монгол хэлийг сайжруулъя гэж бодсон богн хугацаанд Тэгэл энд ороод богн хугацаанд сураал маш амархан ойлгож эхлээл хүний нөөцийг дурлж эхэлсэн Дурлж явж байгаа л дараа тэд нараас одоо яг менежер карьер институтээс надад санал төрсөх so, when did you start learning self-development? Before 2013, um, I was a student, a college student in China, right? I graduated my university in Beijing uh, 2013. And up until then, I was just, uh, I would say, like a normal uh, person, normal human being. I didn't know uh, my goal. I didn't know what to learn. I didn't know where I'm heading to. All I was thinking is that I just want to graduate and I want to start working. And then um, I came back to Mongolia and I, w I got sick because by the time when I was graduating, I was weighing over 95 kilograms and I got sick and I had to stay home. And then doctor said I had to lose weight, but I didn't lose weight. Uh, and then I started uh, doing some research on self-development by myself. I was reading a lot of books on self-development and it actually somehow inspired me, motivated me a lot. So I didn't just want to read and understand those uh, self-development, but I wanted to do it in my real life. Like I wanted to do that changes in myself. So uh, self-development actually was a uh, quite big uh, influence in my life. It was quite a turning point for myself. Dima isn't alone here. He's brought his faithful assistants who have always had his back. Yes, his notebooks. Some people call it a Bujo journal, right? Um, for me, yeah, maybe it's the same. Uh, I was quite uh, good uh, regarding to the exercise. So when I do exercise, 
I just fill this uh, circle. Uh, if I don't do exercise, I just leave it empty. Yeah, and then if you can see here, um, this is the result. So my performance was 47.9% for January. Like I set goals to myself and I, was, I accomplished maybe 50%. Uh, Tim Woodling, what are your other interests? Well, uh, when it comes to interest, uh, before I wasn't interested in anything, but now I'm interested in everything. <laughs> I tried to do a vlog, YouTube vlog. And also I try traveling. So I basically covered all Asia. When I go traveling, I usually go for backpacking. Um, I don't pay for any services. Mostly what I do is that when I travel to those countries, I just start to make local friends there. So it's quite uh, a good way to experience the, the real uh, the lifestyle of the countries. Now it's time to head to the Mongol Chats IT office at Twin Tower. So this is our vending machine and I'm just going to show you guys how I can get a, a juice from here, a vending machine. So I'm just going to get one juice. In this conference room, Tim Woodling is meeting with a colleague right now. Okay, I've just finished uh, with the meeting. So this is where our IT management, I mean IT team locate. And right now they're working. So um, Mongol Chat um, is one of the uh, sub uh, company of Infinite Solution. So Infinite Solution is an IT company and with an experience of over um, 11, 12 years in the field. And Infinite Solution is not only a company that uh, develops MongolChat, but also uh, other applications, as well as there is a IT high school called Nest Education High School. And this is especially like this area is where the Mongol chat team, the IT team, uh, locates. Yeah. Now he's doing his latest tasks for the day on his laptop in the lounge area of the office. Are you wondering what he's gone through to get where he is now? After completing high school, and a bachelor's degree in China. He came back to Mongolia as it wasn't his first choice to major in international trade and economics. He didn't feel entirely satisfied with his professional life. He felt the need to specialize in business and earned an MBA from Mongolian University of Science and Technology. And he started working as a marketer only to find it wasn't his true passion. His search for his calling did not stop there. I started working at APU company, Apple company. So there uh, I was working as a human resources manager. So it was quite interesting for me to, you know, involve with people, um, talking with people. And I was training, doing training. I was motivating them. Like, it was very interesting for me. So I thought, okay, human resources is my field. I like, I really like human resource management. But then, what I realized is that, okay, I, my field is in management. I need to understand management as a whole. So I decided to uh, study even further, more intuitive like, field. So now I'm do, uh, pursuing my PhD uh, in management science and engineering. After trying almost every possible path to find what he was meant to do, he finally realized the management was what he loved doing. 
In 2017, he won a Chinese government scholarship to specialize in management. is a PhD candidate at Harbin Institute of Technology. What is it like to study in China? At the moment, I am、uh, enrolled to Harbin Institute of Technology. The, my university is one of the top ten universities in China.、Uh, well.、Um, Studying in China, in general, comparing to other countries,、uh, it requires hard work.、Uh, for example, in USA, you have to cooperate with your supervisor, but in China, there's so many students for one supervisor. If I don't do well, then I'm, I'm not gonna be able to, you know, study well. So it all depends on the person. So Timulan's day work has finished. To go home, he's calling a cab on the UB Cab app. So now it's、uh, 5 p.m. and、I've, I'm done with my work. So I'm gonna go home, and I've just called UB Cab.、Uh, it's really convenient for me to get a cab, and I'll just go home.、Uh, so the taxi is here already. So let's go. For me,、uh, basically every day, I try to use、uh, IT products as much as possible because, especially for me, I work at an IT、uh, company, Mongolchat, and I know how hard work it takes, how much work it takes, and there's so many people actually working really hard for, you know, implementing this IT、uh, culture in Mongolia. So that's why. I support it a lot. I try to use all kinds of IT、uh, products in my daily life. So now、uh, I'm using UbiCab. So I'm home now.、Um, this is where I live, and it, it's a studio apartment.、Uh, it has everything I need. This is the kitchen area. This is where you wash your dishes and where you put your kitchenettes. And if you follow me to here,、uh, this is my office area where I work here. This is my guest room area, and also one of the things that I want to show you guys is that my、uh, vinyl player、uh, and、uh, my vinyls are there. Now、um, it's、uh, dinner time. I have to eat before 6 p.m. and I'm going to cook、um, Chinese food.、Um, it's a、um, Egg,、uh, fried egg,、uh, tomato, like food. So, in Chinese, it's called 西湖式炒鸡蛋 Before having dinner, Dima answers our last question: What does he hope to accomplish in the future? As I'm representing the young generation of Mongolia, I wish to, you know, do something for the country. I want to、uh, give my time, give my Some of my energy, also my knowledge and experience, and do something great for Mongolia. So that's what I see in my future. Also, at the same time, I'm also trying to、uh, work in an international organization, and that's actually one of my uh, big uh, dream and goal in the future. So、uh, the things that I'm doing today is. One of the steps which can help me to reach to that goal. So yeah. Spending the day with Timulan and listening to his story, we saw how his dedication and efforts have paid off to make him the wonderful person he is today. Thank you for the MNB World Special Program、uh, Generation for inviting me for your、uh, very cool、uh, program, and I wish you all the very best. And enjoy. Have a good day. Have a good night. Bye. To everyone watching, we're asking you to consider this: Are you on the right path, or do you feel like you've chosen the wrong one? If your answer is the latter, don't worry. You've got what it takes to turn it all around.